Hello everybody, today I'm doing this video for you to show you how to create labels on a CD in a very neat new way. It used to be that to create labels on a CD you would have to buy a, a paper labels, print them on your computer and, and basically stick them onto the CD. Now sometimes these things wouldn't come out correctly, they wouldn't you know, move off a little bit to the side so they wouldn't look that professional and eventually they, the glue wears off and you know, the label comes off so it looks very cheap uh, the way it, 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 put, it was put on there. Now the new way is called Lightscribe. Now Lightscribe allows you to actually burn labels directly onto the CD. The CD already comes with a pre-made label put into it and the, uh, it burns it directly onto it so uh, you don't need no special uh, printer or, or paper or anything like this this directly it burns it uh, to the CD now what you will need is a Lightscribe DVD ROM now I'm going to show you what a Lightscribe DVD ROM looks like and what you need to uh, look for it's a regular regular DVD ROM there is one difference when you go to the store to get it you have to make sure that it has the Lightscribe logo in the front of it. Now I'm going to show you what that logo looks like. It's right right here. You will see the Lightscribe logo on it. Now the Lightscribe logo, when you see this little logo here, that's the one you need. Uh, let me see if I can zoom here a little bit more so you can see it better. But once you see this logo on the CDs themselves and on the DVD-ROM, you have the right equipment. Now all you need is this and the Lightscribe uh, DVDs. Now we turn it around let me show you something real quick. This particular DVD ROM is SATA. Now it's uh, you want to make sure that your computer has this type of connection and uh, you can see it right here in the back. Now the SATA connection is different from the IDE connection so you want to make sure that uh, you have the right one when you go get it. So you can unplug the, the CD-ROM you have in your computer right now and look at the cable you have there connected and that way you have a better idea if it's you know which one do you need that way when you get it you get the right one now let me show you something real quick about burning the CDs on this on this equipment let me open this here real quick um, I'm gonna show you a light scribe uh, before I continue I'm gonna show you a light scribe um, CD that's been burned already and what the label looks like now it's a kind of a grayish uh, color it, it's not uh, you know it's like black and white it's not color it, itself but it, lo it does look really neat and uh, you know it looks very professional to make any presentation last and also give a, a really good impression when you give this to a customer or a friend or, or just for yourself um, let me show you real quick how you burn the CDs is very simple I'm going to show you a little video of how you do it uh, with software that you can use to burn the DVDs um, the software I'm using is called Roxio and I'll show you in a second about that but when you're going to burn the CDs the difference between um, the regular DVDs and how this DVD works is that once you put data on it, okay, let me show you, this is the, the bottom part of the CD where you burn the data to it and this is the part where the label goes. Now normally when you are done recording your data, okay, with the, with the Lightscribe CDs, what you do is you turn it upside down with the label facing downward. Normally you put the label facing up, well in this case since you're not going to burn information, what you're going to burn is the label, you turn it upside down, that way it's facing that way and with the bottom part of the CD facing up and close it up and then you're ready to burn it. Once you do this process then you're able to burn the CDs. Now keep this in mind, um, when you're going to burn the CDs and I'm going to show you the example in the video, um, it, it, you have a choice whether you do a draft, a best or normal. Now if you do best for example, it will take you about 15 minutes to burn the CD. So it is a long process, it's not something that takes you 2 or 3 minutes to do it. If you do it with you know, draft or, or normal, you might be able to burn it with a lot less time, uh, especially if you do draft, but the quality on the burning of it will look a little bit you know, um, not the way you might want. So if it's something important, you might want to take the extra time and do best and it will burn it really nice. So I'm going to show you the video now how to, how to actually do this. Remember to visit aramistech.com for more information regarding the DVDs, where you can get them, the actual drive itself, and uh, um, pricing. Now one more thing I wanted to show you was the actual CDs, the, the Lightscribe CDs. Uh, they come in a box like this and uh, they cost about $15 and it's a whole pack like this. Now the CDs themselves are completely blank. 
they don't have any information on them. It's, uh, you know, when you, when you buy them at the store, you'll see it. It'll say light scribe on it. It'll have that logo I showed you earlier, uh, but they're blank uh, when you open them up here. But the actual label on the outside of the CDs, you know, of the, uh, of the box will have the light scribe information on it. So uh, you can buy these in two forms, in CDRs and DVDRs. So you can actually uh, burn just regular CDs, like music CDs for the car, or you can use uh, uh, regular, you know, DVDs. In this case, these are CDRs that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you the video now so you can see it, and hopefully this will help you uh, burn your labels in a better, uh, more professional manner. Thank you, and I appreciate you watching my video. The software I'm about to show you is from Roxio. It's the ECCD Creator software. Now, this particular program retails for about $100. I've seen it in different places for $89, $69. So it depends uh, the place, what, what specials they have going on. I will list on the website some information regarding uh, this particular software. Once you install it, you basically click on Start, click on All Programs, and you will see in there the actual Roxio uh, Start Menu program. Inside there, you will see one icon that says Roxio Label Creator. Simply click on that, and this screen will pop up. This is ready to go. Now, before you do this, this uh, uh, process to create a label, there is a, a driver on my website that you need to download that when you install it, it will completely uh, let, let your uh, DVD writer work with the software. If your CD writer that you buy already comes with the software, then you don't have a problem. You can install that, and you'll be ready to go. So let's go back in here. And in this case, we're going to go first, and we're going to go select the style right here on the left, and we're going to choose a different style. Now, you have very different ones, and in this particular situation, I'm just going to pick this one, and it's going to add uh, the background photo to it. And on here, I just click on it to add the title. I'm going to put Jet Ski Pictures, and uh, put my name on here. All you have to do is just double click on it, and it'll actually come up, and you can write whatever you want and um, once I'm done here I can actually add a photo on the right hand side here or you know I can add photos anywhere I want on the CD but this particular template has it set up so you can put a photo here I'm gonna do that now I'm just gonna click browse and look for a photo add it to the actual program now I have my photo there and the CD is ready to record once you do this, you go ahead and grab one of the light subscribe CDs, turn it upside down with the label facing downward, put it in the CD writer, and click on file, click on print. Now once you do that, you might see here your printer, but click on the little arrow and you'll find it in here, your CD writer. Okay, and it'll say, you know, ready, and I'll give you the name of, you know, light subscribe capable ready, and I'll show you uh, a draft here of, of the image, how it's going to look. Um, when you click on best, it takes about 15 minutes to record. Now, if you do normal draft, you might get away with you know less time, but the quality, uh, you do sacrifice the quality on it. But uh, once this is ready, all you have to do is click OK. And you actually, I'm sorry, one thing you have to remember is how many copies you want of this particular CD. Once you click OK, you're going to get yourself a menu that's going to start preparing the image, and then it's going to start recording the CD. So it's that simple. You, all you have to do is just click on there, and it will actually record the labels for you. Now you have professional CD that have uh, a nice looking label that will not come off and will not wear off uh, like the paper labels do. So hopefully this will work out for you and, and you can try it. Remember visit aramistech.com for more information regarding this CD, uh, the software, the drivers, the um, actual equipment where you can buy it and pricing. So visit aramistech.com.